trying to extract information from the suspect that they ha have in custody now, this 19-year-old? Well, this is a very significant issue, and one of the reasons why a number of my colleagues are advocating uh, that he be deemed an enemy combatant, which would allow them to have a longer and better period of time to be able to speak with him. I mean, I think the issue of his criminal guilt is pretty much, a, as a former prosecutor, a shot-and-done case. But the real question is the extent to which he's part of any kind of a conspiracy, whether there has been any connection with al-Qaeda or others uh, overseas, and particularly what may or may not have happened with his brother, during that six-month stay, all information that uh, the younger brother may be in a position to be able to shed light on. And if he was treated as an enemy combatant, there would be the ability to do those kinds of interrogations. And within 30 days, uh, his attorney would still be able uh, what ab to petition. What about to the fact that he is a U.S. citizen? Yeah, well, this is he's still an enemy combatant underneath the uh, underneath the laws by virtue of carrying out the acts uh, of terrorism uh, that he did. Uh, and, you know, under the Supreme Court uh, precedents, uh, he could be charged. And I think this is one of the things that the administration, uh, the attorney general, should explain why he's choosing not to do it uh, if, in fact, he chooses not to treat him uh, as an enemy combatant. Congressman Patrick Meehan. Congressman, thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you so much. Great to be with you.